Rescuers find crate dumped on their doorstep with the strangest creature hiding inside At the Carolina Tiger Rescue in Pittsburgh, North Carolina Volunteers caretakers and cat rescuers alike have dealt with just about every manner of feline on the planet When it came to cats, they thought they'd seen it all However, one phone call quickly changed all that it was late April 2009 when a mysterious woman phoned the Tiger Rescue she didn't provide a name or an address she simply stated that her friend had a problem she had an animal she couldn't take care of anymore this friend's pet the woman on the phone continued was too aggressive it wasn't coexisting well in her friend's household and she wanted to donate the problem animal to the rescue but this wasn't such an easy offer to accept for the folks at the rescue center see Carolina Tiger Rescue had just taken on two new Tigers as far as room and board went accommodations were looking pretty tight what was more all donations had to be approved by the curator who wasn't at the facility at the time Carolina Tiger Rescue's phone operator passed along the curator's information but they remained skeptical that they could help this woman's friend that made what happened the next morning all the more unexpected when Carolina Tiger Rescue staff arrived the next morning we found the animal on our doorstep in a dog crate with a note attached said Jessica Morgan communications coordinator for the rescue the note explained the animals previous home life and ended with this sign off love me tender Elvis inside the crate was the Elvis in question a worn-out feline he was in bad shape Elvis was a serval a medium-sized cat indigenous to Africa that's known for its acute sense of hearing and impressive vertical leap which can reach seven feet off the ground Obviously life cooped in a living room was not suitable for poor Elvis Simply put Elvis became too large and too aggressive for his owner to handle Jessica said it's not his fault He's a wild cat with wildcat instincts. We found a way to make it work. We couldn't turn him away The story of Elvis the serval didn't end at the doorstep. However, in fact, it was only just beginning Soon his routine medical checkups revealed some disturbing truths about his past first off Elvis was malnourished worse he'd been forced to wear a collar he'd long outgrown his flesh had grown around it embedding it into his neck forcing veterinarians to surgically remove it the cat bore other disturbing signs too brutal scars peppered the servos forehead the team at Carolina Tiger Rescue could only offer a guess at their origin writing on their website we believe the scars came from him constantly rubbing his face on the crate for who knows how long Elvis lived inside that tiny crate likely because he'd become aggressive towards his owners When Carolina Tiger Rescue first released him. He just walked in circles for hours With a weak aggressive and once cooped up serval now in their care the Carolina Tiger Rescue team went to work Rehabilitating the poor animal it all started with a hearty diet which the serval was consistently happy to scarf down with plenty of food in his system and lots of toys to play with Elvis began to regain his strength his spirits seemed lifted but an important question remained how would he respond to the rescue's guests he couldn't be kept in isolation forever amazingly just like his megastar namesake people loved Elvis the serval Elvis can be a very social serval the Carolina Tiger rescue team wrote he will often come up to the fence to greet tour guests and volunteers Though Elvis eventually became a favorite on Carolina Tiger rescue tours the cat was still a work in progress If he felt threatened he wasn't afraid to hiss or growl or show his teeth Nevertheless all was going well for the cat until late spring 2016 at that point Elvis was about nine years old and had been living at the Carolina Tiger rescue for seven years When caretakers realized he wasn't putting any weight on his rear leg even from a distance they could tell that he'd broken it the rescue team loaded Elvis into the car and brought him to a rally North Carolina veterinarian who took x-rays of the cat's knee sure enough he'd fractured it in nearly 12 different places but how and what was to be done the news devastated his caretakers how had this happened they checked his enclosure and there was no evidence of an accident likewise his leg bore no obvious sign of external trauma Still, it was practically useless to him. Something drastic had to be done. And so it was that Elvis, the cat who had once mysteriously appeared on the rescue's doorstep, became the three-legged cat. 
Amazingly, however, even this handicap couldn't slow him down. Elvis lives happily on our tour path, Jessica, the communications director, said recently. He was still able to run and jump onto his platform. Still, while their serval loved attention, the rescue team believed he was the poster cat for a much larger problem. Many of our servals were former pets, Jessica said. Elvis's story speaks to that, and we believe these animals should not be pets. Carolina Tiger Rescue's website echoed that sentiment. Animals such as Elvis deserve to be respected as the wild animals they are. In Elvis's adopted home state of North Carolina, it's still legal for residents to own wild animals as pets, putting other felines like him and the families who own them at a tremendous risk. It's scary to think what might have become of Elvis the serval had his owner not left him on the doorstep of the Carolina Tiger Rescue. In the end, at least he was able to make the best of his situation, even if he was doing it on three legs. Elvis faced a lot of challenges in his life, but now, just like his namesake, he loves to put on a show. He went from singing a little jailhouse rock to falling in love with his Carolina Tiger Rescue family.